you might notice a little bit more of that humidity today. Those dew points are generally in the mid to upper 60s here in most areas of the state line. And keep in mind, anything between 60 and 70 degrees is considered humid. So we're certainly in that territory here. Mount Morris is the exception. They've got a dew point right now of 57. Now, as we go through the day today, again, slightly humid between 60 and 65 for most areas. But as we get into the latter half of the work week, certainly by Friday, we'll see those temperatures dew points really between 65 and 70. So we'll be firmly in that humid territory, likely falling shy though of uncomfortable. Now what this is leading to early this morning is some fog and you can see quite a bit of that here from our WREX cam. Now this is looking towards the east, so we're obviously out in a little bit more of a rural area of the state line, but you do want to make sure you're paying attention. If you're heading out the door early this morning, areas of some locally dense fog is possible in some spots. Again, fog will break though once we get the sun up and that will likely be taking place by mid morning here. Obviously, the sun helps a lot when we see the fog potential early in the morning, and we'll see another round of fog possibly later tonight. But in the meantime, between now and 5 p.m., notice that we do have dry conditions favored, an isolated storm possible. Most areas are going to see dry conditions by 5 a.m. tomorrow. Notice how we've got more of this kind of dark gray shading. This is indicating some more fog potential as we go into the overnight hours into your early Thursday. It's a sign that we've got increased moisture in the atmosphere. Tomorrow, dr generally dry conditions are expected. Another round of some morning fog possible by Friday. Again, not terribly dense, but you could certainly run into a couple of dense spots here. As we go Friday night into Saturday, we'll be watching some thunderstorms developing into Iowa. They could bring some heavy rain and some lightning by Friday night. In the meantime, for today, slightly warmer. Again, an isolated thunderstorm possible. Temperatures into the middle 80s, so certainly a sign of warmer times ahead. 67 tonight, partly cloudy skies, patchy fog possible. Again, there could be some locally dense spots, but we're not looking at widespread dense fog. That fog will wrap up very, very early tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny skies. Temperatures very, very close to 90 degrees here as we get into the heart of the afternoon. Your fields like temperatures or your heat index values could be as high as 94 or even 95 degrees as we get into tomorrow. Not quite heat advisory level, but certainly warmer than what we've had over the last couple of days. Let's take a look at your most accurate today forecast. Those temperatures are going to be really staying elevated all the way into early next week. There is indication though as we get into the latter half of the month of August, we'll start to finally cool things down, possibly even below average. You see that there by next Friday.